Hi, welcome back to the Reef Care Program. In this episode, we'll be looking at the Coral Coloration Program, which in fact is all about monitoring and supplementing minor and trace elements and how they relate to the coloration of corals. Approximately 70 elements have been identified in natural seawater, so we wanted to establish which of them are actually relevant for corals. What are their optimal levels and how can we maintain them? So part of our RCP research involved growing coral frags in our laboratory and at regular intervals sending both the hard and soft tissue for chemical analysis. In this way, we identified 31 minor and trace elements which in addition to the foundation elements play a role in the physiology of the corals. This analysis also enabled us to identify a direct relationship between all of these 31 elements in coral growth as well as a direct relationship between specific elements and the production of specific colored pigments in the soft tissue of stony corals. It is not practical or even possible to monitor and supplement each of the 31 elements individually. However, based on the result of our research, we were able to divide them into four groups according to the biological functions they perform and the specific color pigments they promote. These four groups are the four coral color supplements, A, B, C, and D, that can be dosed according to measurable water parameters. This is a good time to tell you that even though each supplement is related to a specific color, all stony corals require all 31 elements irrespective of their actual color and furthermore, they need these elements at all times, such as during accelerated growth, and not only when the aquarium is set for enhancing colors. Most trace element supplements on the market have no way of being dosed responsibly. Based on our research, the uptake of calcium is a direct measure of coral growth, and therefore, we have devised a simple system of dosing the coral color supplements according to the dosing of Reef Foundation A, which is our calcium supplement. All of the four color supplements have been formulated so that you just add one milliliter of each color supplement for every 10 milliliter of foundation A. This system of supplementing is suitable for most coral aquariums, including SPS tanks that are set for accelerated growth. Of course, this system only replaces the elements used up by coral growth, but does not replenish elements that may be used up by other processes. When running the aquarium at the lower algae nutrient levels and lower foundation element levels for enhanced coloration, it's important to assure that all of the color elements are readily available in the optimal concentrations for the production of chromoproteins or pigments. Each of the coral colors A, B, and C supplements have a lead element that is accurately measurable with Red Sea's unique Coral Colors Pro test kits, and therefore, these supplements can also be dosed according to the total system demand and not just coral growth. So let's have a brief look at the supplements and test kits themselves. Coral Colors A contains iodine and other halogens that are associated with the production of pink colors in the corals. Coral Colors B contains the minor elements potassium and boron. Potassium, by the way, is associated with the production of red colors in corals. Coral Colors C is a complex of iron and other light metals that are related to the green-yellow colors in the corals. Lastly, we have Coral Colors D, which is a complex of 18 very minor trace elements that participate in many metabolic processes inside the coral. D elements are related to the blue-purple colors in the coral. The Coral Coloration Program includes tests for the lead elements iodine, potassium, and iron that are based upon original development work we carried out in order to provide an accurate way of dosing the color supplements. The unique iodine test has a true accuracy of 0.01 ppm. This is very significant when maintaining an iodine level of 0.06 and where levels of above 0.09 are toxic. The importance of maintaining balanced levels of potassium for overall coral health and vitality has only recently been understood. Our potassium test filters out the turbidity that is common in other tests and typically difficult to read, thereby achieving a clear result with a simple titration. 
Our research has shown that for optimal coral growth and coloration in a reef aquarium, iron needs to be at a level of over 100 times the level in natural seawater. Our iron test, which is unusual for salt water, works in the specific PPM range that we recommend. For all aquariums, we recommend testing on a weekly basis and adjusting the daily or weekly dosage of the supplements accordingly. So our coral coloration program provides a concise and easy to understand range of minor and trace element supplements with both simple and advanced methods for responsible and accurate dosing for all reefs and hobbyists. To learn more about the biological processes that are going on in your reef and the role of other sub-programs in the RCP, see each of the episodes in this series. So get with the program and make the most for your reef.